Hello children. Today we will recite a poem of your English course book. But before I tell you the name of the poem, let's discuss something about school. Children, why do we go to school? Or I would ask, uh, let me ask, why do you go to school? Do you know why do you go to school? Children, school is a place where you learn new things. Isn't it? You learn many different subjects. You learn to read. You learn to write. Do maths. You learn different languages like English, Hindi, Sanskrit and any other language. And there are many interesting activities too. You participate in curricular activities such as dance, music, art and craft, plays. You also get chance to take part in sports and games. Children, actually you not only learn to study but also learn manners. You learn to be punctual. You learn to be on time. You learn to be disciplined. You learn social behavior. Children, the school improves your personality. You take part in various competitions, isn't it? And that improves your confidence. The school builds up your confidence. It improves your personality. And uh, you make friends also in school. You have many friends in your class. Children, have you ever thought that what would animals or birds will learn if they go to school? Have you ever thought? Children, what I think is that they will also enjoy going to school. And they will learn things uh, that are important for them. Children, today we will recite and understand a poem about 20 little froggies. Uh, this is a poem in your English course book. And this poem is about 20 froggies. Uh, children, froggies is the nickname for frogs. So in the poem, they went to school. So we will find out uh, where uh, the school was located, where the frog's school was located and uh, who was their teacher, what they learned at school and what they became when they grew up. So don't you think it will be an interesting poem? Children, so let's recite the poem 20 Froggies. Children, this is the poem 20 froggies. Let's read and recite the poem first. I hope the poem is visible to you. It is on your screen. 20 froggies went to school down beside the lovely pool. 20 froggies went to school down beside the lovely pool. 20 little coats of green, 20 vests all neat and clean. 20 little coats of green, 20 vests all neat and clean. We must be on time, said they. First we study, then we play. We must be on time, said they. First we study, then we play. That is how we keep the rule when we froggies go to school. That is how we keep the rule when we froggies go to school. Master Bullfrog Brave and Stern called the classes in their turn. Master Bullfrog Brave and Stern Call the classes in their turn. Taught them how to nobly strive, also how to leap and dive. Taught them how to nobly strive, also how to leap and dive. Taught them how to dodge a blow from the stick that bad boys throw. Taught them how to dodge a blow from the stick that bad boys throw. Twenty froggies grew up fast. Bullfrogs they became at last. Twenty froggies grew up fast. Bullfrog they, they became at last. George Cooper 
children this poem this uh, beautiful poem is written by george cooper an english poet george cooper has written this poem now let's understand the poem first look at the picture as you can see the frogs are going to school they they are going to school with their bags on their shoulder as you can see now let's understand the poem 20 frogies went to school down beside the lovely pool now children as the line suggests uh, there were 20 frogies and as i told you frogies is the nickname for frogs so there were 20 frogs who went to school and their school was located besides the lovely pool the the school was located beside beside uh, meaning of beside is at the side of the pool or next to the pool as you can see in the picture the school uh, there is a pool as you can see see this is the pool and their school is beside the beside the pool it is at the side of the pool or next to the pool so these 20 froggies they went to school and the school was located next to the lovely pool children here beside beside as i told you meaning of beside is wait a minute this is not see froggies i told you the meaning of froggies is frog and beside means next to or uh, at the side of and lovely means very beautiful lovely means very beautiful so there were 20 frogs who went to school and the school was located at the side of the beautiful pool clear now reading the next line next two lines 20 little coats of green 20 vests all neat and clean 20 little coats of green now children these frogs they were wearing uniform and uh, they were the frogs were wearing vest neat and clean vest now children vest vest is undergarment for upper part of the body it's a it's an undergarment which you wear inside your main cloth and it is uh, the it is uh, the garment for upper part of the body so they were wearing neat and clean vests and they were they all were wearing green colored coat the froggies were wearing green colored coat children you also wear uniform when you go to school neat and tidy uniform uh, can you tell me why the froggies were wearing green colored coats can you think of the answer why they were wearing green colored coats children actually frogs are generally green in color have you seen frogs they are green in color so the poet the person who has written the poem has assumed that the frogs were wearing green colored coats because the frogs are green in color they are generally green in color so the poet has thought has assumed that frogs were wearing green colored coats their uniform uh, was of green color coat so the 20 froggies were wearing neat and tidy vests and they were wearing green colored coat uh, then um, moving on to the next line we must be on time we must be on time said they first we study then we play now they said that they must reach school on time they must be punctual children on time means punctual the time of reaching the school every school has reaching time and dispersal time isn't it your school is also have uh, the reaching time and arrival time and dip dispersal time isn't it every school has arrival and dispersal time and uh, they said that the uh, the frogs said that they must reach school on time they must be 
punctual they should not be late for school uh, children you also come to school on time isn't it sometime you may get late but you should try to be on time you should try to reach school on time and what you have to do for that you must wake up early in the morning you have to wake up early in the morning so that you can get ready on time and you should get your school bag ready when at the night before the school you should uh, you should make your bag ready the night before the before you have to come to school so that you can reach the school on time and um, yeah and otherwise also we should be punctual if we have to reach somewhere we should always reach on time so uh, here the frogs are saying that they don't want to be late for school so they want they want to be on time further what they they say that first we study then we play now they are saying that they, after reaching the school they will first study and then they will play when they will reach school they will first study and then they will play uh, children when you also go to school you study first of course you have games period you play there uh, but first you study and then you have games period uh in the same way frogs also said that they will first study and then they will go out for playing they will play afterwards they will play now next that is how we keep the rule when we froggies go to school now children here as you see here and uh, keeping rules children keeping rules means one should follow the rules of the school every school has certain rules and regulations and everyone has to follow that everyone has to follow the rules and regulations of the school so here the rules which uh, frogs had to follow was that they should reach school on time and they should first study and then play these were the rules of that school they have to reach school on time and they have to study and then they have to uh, play so this was the rule of the school uh, which the froggies have to follow that is how we keep the rule when froggies go to school so they have to follow the rules of the school let's read further master bullfrog brave and stern called the classes in their turn now their master or you can call the teacher was bullfrog now children uh, what is bullfrog bullfrog is a large frog a big frog with a deep loud voice bullfrog is a big or large frog with a deep loud voice so their master was bullfrog and he was brave and stern children brave means a person who is ready to face danger a courageous person is called brave and here i have explained to the meaning of brave bullfrog is a large big frog i told you brave means a person who is ready to face any kind of danger a person who shows courage and stern means strict person who is strict so the master bullfrog was brave and stern he was uh, courageous and he was strict children teachers are often very strict isn't it teachers are often uh, strict because uh, they have to make the children discipline they have to teach you manners so they have to be sometime strict so here the master bullfrog was also very strict he was brave as well as he was strict call the classes in their turn and he call the classes he take the classes in their turn uh, which means that uh, he takes the classes when their turn comes now moving on to the next lines next stanza taught them how to know how to nobly strive also how to leap and dive now the master bullfrog he taught them few things what he taught 
he taught them to be nobly strive now hear the word nobly strive nobly strive children nobly strive means uh, to work honestly okay so he taught the students he taught the frogs to work honestly okay and he also taught them to leap and dive children leap means jump leap means jump and dive means when you uh, jump in water with head first jumping in water with head going first in the water that is called diving so he taught the froggies how, how to work honestly and how to jump and how to dive in water or in pond or any water body he taught them how to jump and how to dive in the water next taught them how to dodge a blow from the stick that bad boys throw now what else he taught he taught them how to dodge a blow now children there's another word dodge now dodge it means uh, to avoid something by a quick, quick movement to avoid something by a quick movement so their master bullfrog he also taught them how to dodge a blow from the sticks that bad boys throw at them children you may have noticed uh, that often naughty children or the notorious boy they throw sticks on frogs uh, just to tease them they throw sticks on frogs so their teacher he taught them to uh, he taught them to move quickly to avoid the blow from the sticks which bad boys throw at them so uh, what things their teacher taught them first how to be work honestly how to work not honestly how to jump and dive in water and he also taught them how to uh, move quickly to avoid the blow from the sticks that the bad boys throw at them now final stanza 20 froggies grew up fast bullfrogs they became at last now children uh, this is the final stanza and here what uh, the poet is telling us that the 20 froggies grew fast they grew up fast and they became bullfrogs themselves when they grew up they became bullfrogs and now they taught other little frogs uh, what they had been taught by their master they they themselves became bullfrogs and they taught other little frogs what they had been taught so this was the poem now shall we recite the poem once again let's recite the poem once again since you have understood the poem now and we will recite once again 20 froggies 20 froggies went to school down beside the lovely pool 20 froggies went to school down beside the lovely pool 20 little coats of green 20 vests all neat and clean 20 little coats of green 20 vests all neat and clean we must be on time said they first we study then we play we must be on time said they first we study then we play that is how we keep the rule when we froggies go to school that is how we keep the rule when we froggies go to school master bullfrog brave and stern call the classes in their turn master bullfrog brave and stern call the classes in their turn taught them how to nobly strive also how to leap and dive taught them how to nobly strive also how to leap and dive taught them how to dodge a blow from the stick that bad boys throw taught them how to dodge a blow from the stick that bad boy from the stick that bad boy blows bad boy throws 20 froggies grew up fast bullfrogs they became at last 
ट्वेंटी फ्रॉगेज ग्रू अ फास्ट बुल फ्रॉग्स दे बिकेम एट लास्ट एंड चिल्ड्रेन हु रोड दिस पोएम एज आई टोल्ड यू जॉर्ज कूपर जॉर्ज कूपर रोड दिस पोएम एंड द न्यू वर्ड्स विच वी केम अक्रॉस वाइल्ड रिसाइटिंग दिस पोएम वर यूर रिटर्न हेयर सी यू कैन सी बुल फ्रॉग लेट मी मेक इट बिग फॉर यू दिस इज बुल फ्रॉग एंड आई टोल्ड यू अ लार्ज फ्रॉग with a deep and loud voice is called bullfrog then the word is stern stern means strict the one who is strict then nobly strive nobly strive is you have uh, work honestly then leap leap means to jump and dodge dodge means to avoid something by a quick movement and the children apart from these words i have uh, also explained to you meaning of the few more words which are given in your uh poem now let's do the comprehension of this poem first one is answer the following questions answer the following questions and we have to answer a few questions so uh, shall we do first one is where did the 20 froggies go where did they go children the 20 froggies they went to school where did they go they went to school oh. 20 froggies went to school as the first line of the poem says as you can see here see 20 froggies went to school the so question is where did the 20 froggies go 20 froggies went to school now next uh, question what are the froggies wearing what are the froggies wearing the 20 froggies they wore clean and uh, uh, neat vests with green coats coats they wore clean vests with green coats and answer you can see here every time i have to scroll down just to show you the correct answer see they neat vest little coats of green and neat and clean vest what they wore they wore uh, neat and clean vests and green coats so uh, you have to write answer 20 froggies they wore uh, green coats and neat and clean vests moving on to the next question which rule do the froggies follow in school now you have to tell the rules of the uh, school a froggies school so what were the rules uh, that they have to follow children they have to follow two basic rules first one was Uh, to be always on time and second one was to first study and then play two rules were there to be always on time and to uh, first study and then play and where the rules are written i'll show you the stanza where it is written see we must be on time and first we study then we play this was the rule okay so this is the third answer that you the froggies have to be on time and they have to study first and then they have to play they have to follow these rules then next one what did master bullfrog teach the little froggies children uh, the master bullfrog they he taught the froggies to work honestly what he taught first to work honestly and how to leap and dive he also taught them how to dodge a stick thrown by bad boys what were things uh, taught by bullfrog first how to work honestly and how to leap and dive then he also taught them how to dodge a stick thrown by bad boys and i'll show you where the answer is see he taught them how to nobly strive and i told you nobly strive means 
work honestly so he taught them how to work honestly and how to leap and dive first thing and he taught them how to dodge a blow from the stick that bad boys throw how to dodge a blow uh, from the stick that bad boys throw at them clear okay is there any other question no uh, but we we can have some more questions like uh, what they what the froggies uh, became when they grew up can we add this question what the froggies uh, became when they grew up uh, children froggies grew up fast and they became bullfrogs themselves isn't it they became bullfrogs themselves and then they taught other little froggies what they had been taught by their bullfrogs so they grew up to become bullfrogs themselves and now another part of the comprehension is match the words in column a with related words in column b now children as you can see two columns are given one is a uh, a column and second is b and you have to match okay first uh, these are the uh, word meaning sort of uh, match the column you have to match with the uh, synonyms or meaning of the words given in column a in column a some words are given and you have to match it with their synonyms with their meanings in column b so shall we do first one let's do this let me scroll down a little bit now clean first word is clean so what is the meaning of clean it is tidy meaning of clean is tidy then pool pool is pond meaning of pool is pond then study meaning of study is learn then uh, we have fourth word brave brave means courageous then we have the word play play is to enjoy and one more word is there which is hidden dive dive means to swim okay now let's do it this way clean tidy pool pond study learn brave courageous play enjoy dive swim so this is the match the column now move on to the next part let us enjoy the poem now what you have to do here a recite the poem with action and expression now this first you have to learn the poem after learning then only you can recite it well so you will after learning the poem you will recite it in the class and you have to recite the poem with actions and expression and this we will do when we'll uh, when will uh, the school will open we'll do this in the class by the time you learn the poem second one is uh, b part the words school and pool rhyme have same sound school pool they are rhyming words so write four other sets of rhyming words from the poem now uh, like uh, school and pool are rhyming words in the same way you have to find out some more rhyming words from the uh, from the poem so let's find out um, i'll tell you uh, first one is green green and clean green and clean rhyming words are clean, green clean have the same sound green clean then i'll show you where it is written see i see here green clean okay then we have uh, move let's move on uh, then we have they play they play then we have rule school rule school then we have stir turn stir turn 
then we have strive dive strive dive then blow throw blow throw and we have fast last got so many rhyming words are there you have to write any four fast last blow throw green clean strive dive now what else now which rules do you follow in school write any two now children in your school there are certain rules and you have to tell which rules you follow so you can write any of the rules uh, rules are written in your diary in your school diary you can uh, see there many rules are written in your school diary in, in your school almanac and you can find out what are the rules and um, which rules you follow strictly like uh, you come to school in uniform you have to come uh, to school in uniform and you wear your uniform daily as per the schedule like uh, you have to wear when you have to wear gray uniform when you have to wear white uniform so you come in proper uniform as per the rule of the school secondly you come to school on time as per the rule of the school you come to school on time you appear in test you give exam as per the rule then you follow other uh, rules of the school that you do not uh, damage the school property you take care of the school property so there are many rules so you go through the diary and find out what are the rules and then write any two rules that you follow then you have a fun activity you have to color the picture as you can see there is a picture of a frog and he is in a pond so you have to color it you have to color the frog in green okay frogs are green so you will color it green and then there are some grass and flowers that you can color as per your choice so you have to color this picture when you'll get the book and with this your poem is over i hope you enjoyed the poem thank you